And the race to beat Mississauga's next mayor is tightening. This is according to a new poll. For a closer look at the results, we're joined live by David Valentin, principal at Liaison Strategies. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, David. For so many weeks, many have assumed that this was a one-horse race. And according to this latest poll, that might not be the case. Break down the numbers for us, if you can. Well, we've got Carolyn Parrish, who has been the front runner for the entirety of the race, uh, being followed by Deepika Demerla and Alvin Tejo, the other two being city councillors. And of course, Carolyn Parrish was a city councillor, was a member of parliament for Mississauga as well. And all of a sudden, the race is tightening. But we've also seen this big spike in undecided with seniors, which is very odd. Usually you see the undecided rate going down, and it has for pretty much every other cohort. But with seniors, this group of voters that regularly does vote, especially in by-elections, it's actually gone up. So it's quite surprising. Okay, so David, undecided voter, 16%. What difference is that going to make? Like, like, let's talk about that deciding factor. Well, I, I think what's really interesting, and as I just mentioned, is it's really seniors who are the holdouts at this point. And for a long time, they had made up their mind. Then all of a sudden, we got some movement in the last few weeks. And I think partly, you know, part, part of that comes from the fact that uh, Carolyn Parrish went and did a debate. It didn't go so well. Mm. She decided she wasn't going to do any more debates. And then that's been the big theme of the campaign for the last few weeks. Uh, you know, municipal races, a lot of it comes down sometimes to name recognition. And we know that name recognition can play a really large role in these races. What happens to a candidate when that name recognition uh, is negative? And so we've seen, you know, uh, based on the last poll and looking at this poll, that Ms. Parrish has lost some support. It's opened up the opportunity for uh, Ms. Damerla to gain four points, Mr. Tejo to gain two points, and all of a sudden they're making this more of a race. Just a little bit of background for our viewers. Carolyn Parrish attended uh, a debate where she made some comments about refugees, uh, residents in uh, Brampton, and transgender individuals as well. She says those comments were taken out of context. Her critics say uh, that she has a troubling history of making problematic remarks. You think, David, that's made a difference? I think it has because this was a very sleepy race and we had some candidates come into the mix and then we had some other candidates drop out. But for the last few weeks, the, the focus that has appeared to sort of be this uh, negative remarks and, and things that have been taken uh, by the other campaigns and amplified. But also following that debate, uh, Ms. Parrish decided not to attend any further debates. Um, and we've seen for the last few weeks the candidates, uh, in some cases, standing at podiums, lecturing an empty podium where she, or her place was supposed to be. So I don't know that this is the, the theme that she wanted to go with. Now, obviously, she didn't want to lose support. That being said, it's hard to know what would have happened if she had participated in those debates. So maybe it was the right decision for her campaign after all. All that being said, she's up by five points. There's not a long time to go. The momentum is not on her side right now, but if she can swing it back, she could still be very successful. And David, talk about the role of voter turnout. It was low in the last election. Uh, it doesn't. It does appear it might be a little higher this election. There's 500,000 eligible voters, in Mississauga, give or take, uh, coming around for this by-election. I don't know how many of them are gonna, actually going to get out to vote. We saw some advanced polls took place this past weekend. It was an improvement on the last election, but it wasn't very high, right? So I don't know how many voters are going to actually turn out. All that means is that for the campaigns, if they found their supporters, if they're motivated, and if they can get those people out to vote, they could outperform their, their voting numbers. And this really comes down to what kind of campaign has Ms. Parrish, Ms. Uh, uh, Damerla, and Mr. Tejo built. And if they've built strong campaigns, they might be able to actually win this thing. All right, David Valentin, always appreciate your numbers and your analysis. Thank you.